Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergaga.com and in this video we are going to look at how to add a target range to your line graph just like this one on screen. So let me remove this one and let's go and see how it's done. So on the first sheet here I have some chart data set up ready. And the first two columns, we have the months, and then we have some values that mean something to us. We then have some columns that are set up for the shaded area, the target range. And I've put some fill color into the background here. That's not necessary, but just to visualize the different parts of our line graph. So this top target one is not actually going to be used in the chart. It was only used to set up this different section. So we are imagining that our target range is between 750 and 500, which means the target range is actually 250 in height. And you can see in there, it's just a little calculated formula here to find the difference. Uh, we don't really need column C, I could have just written that in. <laughs> but if it's a more difficult target range, um, or something that would be formulated in your example, which is why I wanted to demonstrate it this way. Now what we need to do is just select the first highlighted range, A2 to B13, hold down control on our keyboard so that we can also select the other highlighted range, which is D2 to E13. So I've selected those non-adjacent ranges, ignoring column C in the middle, which was just there to help us. I'm going to insert a line graph I'm just going to choose the first one here, and this is what we begin with. We can see we have the months along the bottom, got the values up our axes, got a beautiful line graph, but then we've got these two funny lines coming across, which are the bottom target and the difference. They're not presented in the legend because I did not highlight the headers when creating a chart. If I did, they would be down there, but I'm, I'm simply not interested in them, which is why I ignored them. Now, if I right mouse click on this orange one, and if I go to change series chart type, and I want to change series two and three to a stacked column. So I'll change that one, and then I'll change series three to a stacked column. And you can see the preview in the background here. So now we have this line graph going across two stacked columns, or really one stacked column. If I click OK, it's applied. So it's beginning to take some shape here. If I now double click on that stacked column, so it opens up the formatting area on the right hand side, and I will change the gap width to 0%, so there's no gap between those columns, and it just floods the area. Now with this orange one selected, this bottom target area, I'm going to come into this formatting area again and select no fill. I'm using the fill area, this bucket of paint, and I'm selecting no fill for that section. Let me click away. So here you can now see that is no longer visible, although it is there, and our target range is beginning to look more like one. I'm just now going to do a few little touching up areas. I'm going to remove the grid lines. And I'm also going to change the color of this target range. So I could choose a solid fill. And yeah, I'll keep my light green. But you've got some lots of nice options here. That's a nice one. Let me keep that one for now. I'm also going to remove the chart title, uh, which is probably quite a useful thing, but I've got nothing to really to use it for right now and definitely get rid of the legend and here we have it we have a line graph with a target range so if this was at some kind of range that you view as a good performance area you can see straight away with this data that you have actually started and finished the year below that you started pretty much on the bottom you finished actually in the worst position 
but he spent most of the year within that range, especially the middle portion of the year, and actually exceeded that and were above performance in the kind of February, March time of the year. And it just adds that nice visual element to that. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.